Hey there. I'm trying to express regularity and repeated reasoning. But I'm in over my head. I could really use some help. The mathematical habits of mind nurture stronger, more skilled mathematicians. Applying the habits of mind enables math to be the common factor that unites us all. The catering industry provides exciting economic and social opportunities for many professionals. Caterers provide food for small gatherings, holiday office parties, and large events like weddings and conferences. Whether buffet style or plated meals, caterers use efficient planning and repeated reasoning to prepare for these important events. Today, we are focusing on looking for and expressing regularity and repeated reasoning. To help us understand how caterers and restaurant professionals think mathematically, please welcome our special guest, Carver Career Center Pro Start Instructor, Chef Thomas Grant. Tim, thanks for having me and welcome to one of our offsite catering spots. Awesome, awesome. Look at all this delicious looking food. So catering provides food for small family gatherings like hors d'oeuvres or large scale meals for extravagant weddings. Can you talk to us about how repeated reasoning is used in the planning stages for those events? Sure, used every day. We uh, start with the menu. Once we have a menu, we go from recipes, standardized recipes, and we figure from there, depending on the size of the catering, on how to, um, how to prepare those recipes. And um, how about I just go and show you in the kitchen how we do it. In the kitchen? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, Tim, so we're back here in the kitchen now at Carver Career and Tech Center, and uh, this is where we cook all the food for the caterings and the students prep, and uh, we take it out for the delivery. In fact, we have Mary Catherine over here. She's one of our students. She's working on a recipe for macaroons. Hi, Mary Catherine. Hi. People love food, and as you know, there's many ways to share a delicious meal and cater an event. How do you use repeated reasoning to prepare for a small event of 25 people versus a wedding for 200 people? So we're gonna start with a standardized recipe. Let's say, for example, this one feeds 10 people and we're gonna need to feed 20 people. So we're gonna divide our new yield, which is 20, by our old yield, which is 10, which is gonna get us a scaling factor of two. And so we're gonna multiply all of our ingredients by two and that's gonna get us the new yield for all of our ingredients, which will affect cook time and what type of utensils you use and the size of the pans and things like that. Awesome, so using ratios and scale factors to help make sense of what you need to do and use repeated reasoning to create that wonderful, delicious food. Thank you. As you can see, today's meal is served buffet style. Chef Grant, can you explain the difference between preparing a meal served buffet style versus a plated meal? Sure, sure. Well, they both are the same in, in the regards of where we start off. We start off with the menu, move to the standardized recipe, and then uh, this is where it differs. We have to count of how many people we're going to serve, both of them. Uh, with the buffet, we're looking at different instruments or different tools, like the, the ice cream scoops here. What, what kind of measurement we're gonna get out of them as the customer goes down the line on deciding what they wanna eat. Some customers prefer ham, some do not. So we kind of balance that off with that on the buffet, but back to the plated, we, everything's exact. We the protein's the same, the starch, the vegetable. Uh, a little bit easier to control the food on that, on that end. Awesome, I love how you are using appropriate tools strategically and also attending to precision while looking for and expressing regularity and repeated reasoning. Awesome. One final thought, Chef Grant. What advice would you give students and families to look for and express regularity and repeated reasoning? Uh, great question, Tim. Uh, pretty much starts with uh, stuff that we like to do, uh, hobbies, uh, maybe working on our cars, working on plumbing. If we go back and think about the career and tech center I work at, uh, every one of those students in every one of those classes, they start with something they enjoy doing, and they actually, math comes into play every day. Uh, with families in grocery shopping uh, each week, they go out, they have to figure out how much food they have to buy for the family, and also cost. They have to figure out the cost with the food. Wow, that is awesome advice. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Can we try a bite? Yeah, definitely. Wow. As you can see, mathematical habits of mind are applied in very interesting and delicious ways. Everyone is a mathematician. Join us next time as we continue to explore the connections between math and the world around us. We are all math people when we nurture our skills and recognize a common factor. Let's unite with numeracy.